You thought we were done with ranking hilarious deaths? <laughs> you thought wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most hilarious movie deaths. For this list, we're going heavy on the hilarity, violence, and spoilers, so consider this a warning. Number 20. See ya, Michael Sarah. This is the end. This is the end has no shortage of inventively funny deaths. While James Franco's fatality almost descended onto this countdown, it didn't quite have the same shock value as Michael Sarah's. Everybody listen up, listen up! All Sarah can think about is his cell phone's location. He doesn't even see the collapsing streetlight, which impales the Canadian actor through the heart and drags him down to hell. <laughs> to add insult to injury and hilarity, his cell was on him the entire time. Number 19. Rambo, UHF In this Weird Al comedy, Al plays a shiftless dreamer who likes to imagine himself as the hero of blockbuster movies. As Rambo, he launches a rescue mission to save a POW, played by Michael Richards. This leads him to take on the Russian captors mano a mano with that special Hollywood invincibility. The same thing cannot be said for his opponents, whether they be standing three feet away, firing from a hill, or taking one last shot in desperation. Number 18. My father went the same way. The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. Since it is a cop's job to resolve conflict as peacefully as possible, Lieutenant Frank Drebin attempts to detain Vincent Ludwig with a non-lethal cufflink dart. This backfires, however, as the villain stumbles over the stadium wall and plummets to a flattening fate. You killed him. No, no, he's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh. It's already pretty funny, but the filmmakers keep piling on the laughs as a bus, a steamroller, and the USC marching band trample over Ludwig like he's made of Play-Doh. George Kennedy's final one-liner is the icing on the cake of this priceless scene from The Naked Gun. Oh, right. That's horrible. That's so horrible. I know it. My father went the same way. Number 17, Poolside Splatter, The Nice Guys. As far as villain actors go, Keith David is up there with the greats. Don't you know it's rude to eavesdrop? His demise, however, in 2016's The Nice Guys has to be one of the worst ways to go, and definitely not the height of his career. When Holly March gets caught in the middle of a rooftop brawl, her dad reaches out to protect her, and the two brawlers are sent flying off the roof. While Holland gets just enough clearance to reach the pool, his foe is not so lucky. That guy got flattened like a bug on a windshield. Number 16, Hans Blix's inspection, Team America World Police. I don't have any weapons of mass destruction, okay, Hans? Then let me look around so I can ease the UN's collective mind. No public figure is safe from Matt Stone and Trey Parker. It's hard to think of one celebrity who comes out of Team America World Police unscathed, but Hans Blix's watery demise is a standout. There you go, Hans Blix! While Kim Jong-il doesn't show Hans his weapons of mass destruction during an inspection, the dictator does introduce him to his nurse sharks. As the fishies decapitate the Swedish diplomat, Kim Jong-il spouts some of the most uproarious dialogue you will ever hear in an R-rated puppet comedy. Parker's recognizable city walk voice only makes the obscenities funnier. Congratulations, Team America! Number 15, Choked Up. Basket Case 3, The Progeny. Trashy films almost never disappoints when it comes to hilarious deaths. In this comedy horror franchise, a basket-bound ghoul named Belial has somehow become father to his own basket babies. When the deformed monster discovers that the sheriff's deputies have captured his offspring, he decides to take matters into his own hands. Damn, those are some mighty strong hands. <laughs> To be fair, you would have to be pretty stupid to mess with this basket monster. How he ever managed to have kids in the first place, we'd rather not know. Jesus God! Number 14, 
the present. Happy Gilmore. Another unconventional sports flick death? Hell yes. Here, Adam Sandler plays an unsuccessful hockey player who discovers his own hidden talent for golf. Helping him make his glorious transformation is his coach Chubbs, a man whose own career was ended when a gator bit off his hand. To show his gratitude for the support Chubbs has given, Sandler gives his friend a surprise gift. Thoughtful, but maybe he should have just gotten him a new prosthetic hand. Number 13, The Bridge of Death, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. While the killer rabbit was outrageous, this immortal Monty Python bit consists of three deaths, each more hysterical than the last. The side he see. Ask me the questions, Bridgekeeper. I'm not afraid. Where Lancelot answers the Bridgekeeper's three questions with zero effort, Sir Robin is thrown for a loop. What is the capital of Assyria? I don't know that. <laughs> Sir Galahad's questions are easier, but he still manages to cock up the final one. The audience thinks they know what the punchline will be when King Arthur is asked the questions. He surprises everyone, however, by answering with another question. It's good to be the king, and even better to be a swallow expert. Huh? I, I don't know that. <laughs> Who do you know so much about swallows? Well, you have to know these things when you're a king, you know. Number 12. Grocery store massacre, Sausage Party. Are you like them apples? Who, us? No, not you. If you've seen Sausage Party, you will already know it was not for the faint of heart. This scene was particularly disturbing and hilarious, as the grocery item's lives quickly crumble to pieces. When it becomes clear that the great beyond isn't all that great after all, Danny McBride's honey mustard decides to end it all, setting in motion a grocery store massacre of epic proportions. Spaghetti innards are strewn on the floor, and a banana loses its peel in the most horrifying fashion. While gruesome, this scene was hilarious in its creativity. After all, what's peanut butter without jelly? Hey, I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna fix this. Number 11, The Assassinations, Jane Austen's Mafia. In this slapstick mafia spoof, a new Don is crowned, and the most unusual assassins are dispatched to tie up loose ends during his wedding. The results are some of the most outlandish deaths in movie history. <laughs> this first one parodies the mob's use of high explosives to send a message, but they weren't finished there. Soon after, a dinosaur resembling Barney is shot with a harpoon, and his expression quickly goes from kind and welcoming to shocked and dismayed. Us too, Barn. Number 10, going out on a limb, Deadly Prey. Take off your shirt before I cut you out from under it. There's no deadlier prey than man, and no deadlier man than Mike Danton. Nearing this epic B-movie's final act, the bloodthirsty Vietnam veteran goes commando on a mercenary. Unable to shoot the screaming target charging forward, the incompetent soldier pays with his right arm. If that's not ridiculous enough, Danton proceeds to beat the guy to death with his own severed body part and then scalps his corpse. It might be shoddily produced, but we would give an arm and a leg to watch this outrageous scene over and over again. <laughs> Number 9. Aim for the Bushes the other guys. In this action comedy, we are briefly treated to the believably cool partnership between Samuel L. Jackson and Dwayne The Rock Johnson as they play a pair of super cops. Admired by the entire city, they give off the impression that they are completely superhuman. Clearly, they were their own biggest fans, as even they thought that they were impervious to the laws of physics. But sadly, this was not the case. You think of what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. Ever since, the phrase aim for the bushes has lived on as a meme of sorts. Anytime you're unsure of how something will go, just remember to aim for the bushes. Number 8. Just Die Already, Karateja Kiz, also known as Karate Girl. Karate Girl is a Turkish film in which a woman seeks revenge against the fugitives who murdered her father. Tracking down one of the hooligans, the two duke it out for a minute or two before she pulls a gun and takes five excessively long shots to put him down. Expecting a bit more yelling? You're probably thinking of the infamous YouTube edit, which sounds something like... <laughs> Number 7. 
seems like Karate Girl has aged kind of well in the era of 10-hour edits. Number 7. Freak Gasoline Fight Accident Zoolander Derek Zoolander has been unseated as king of the male models, so he's understandably down and questioning if there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good-looking. Maybe we should be doing something more meaningful with our lives. Like helping people. His male model roommates decide to cheer him up with citrusy caffeine goodness, a joyride, and some wham when things get out of hand at the gas station. They start a relatively harmless squeegee fight, but when Derek turns his back, they take things up a notch. Oddly, things only register as problematic once one of his buddies decides to light one up. Thankfully, Derek learned an important lesson that day. We have chiseled abs and stunning features. It doesn't mean that we too can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident. Number 6. Oh my god, Troll 2. How could we possibly forget the iconic Troll 2? In what is often described as the worst movie ever, nilbogs are on the loose and are turning people into green plant goo that they can feed on. As dumb as that sounds and looks, this scene is immortalized not so much by a hilarious death, but by the Oscar-worthy reaction to it. Arnold's ability to piece together what's going on and predict the unfortunate fate that lies before him is uncanny. He would make a great weatherman. Oh my god, what's happening to her? And why can't I move? There, there must be a logical reason for all of this. Shut up! Number 5. Eye Trouble. Undefeatable. Ah! This low budget action flick, a psychotic deals with abandonment issues by kidnapping and murdering women. Only a motivated cop can bring him down in a greased up shirtless fist fight. After the killer gets impaled on a spike, he gets spin kicked onto a factory hook and sent to the cleaners. Think that's bad? Listen to this. Keep an eye out for you, Stingray. Yeah. See ya. With all the kicking and one-liners going on, it's surprising that the writers didn't work in a foot pun. Is he really undefeatable? Number 4. Garbage Day – Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 Drop your weapon! Drop it! <laughs> oh boy, we are getting into the really trashy films now. Here, a psychopath named Ricky decides to indiscriminately kill victims just because. Okay, that's not entirely true. There is some nonsense about childhood trauma since his brother was the original killer in the first movie, but honestly, no one's paying attention to the story here, are they? After doing away with the world's worst cop, Ricky decides to take a walk and have some laughs with his new toy. Too bad for this suburbanite, it happens to be garbage day. That is some movie dialogue right there, guys. Garbage day! Huh? No! <laughs> Number 3. Rocking the Boat, Shark Attack 3, Megalodon. Using a bloodthirsty shark as the antagonist isn't exactly a novel idea, but showcasing a huge shark on a tiny budget does make for some pretty golden moments. You don't really need a whole lot of background here. The shark surfaces, interrupts a nautical black tie event, and starts basically swallowing people whole. It even snatches one passenger out of the air like a grape. Oh, and that's not even the best part. Watch him change size to devour an entire life raft. Not even that cocky guy escaping on a sea dew is safe. Number 2. Swing on this, Eating Rowl If you happen to be a swinger, you might take offense to some of the casualties depicted in Eating Rowl. This dark comedy centers on a bland married couple that starts slaying swingers and emptying their wallets. The blands hit the jackpot when they encounter people going wild in a hot tub. Matters get even more heated as Mr. Bland chucks a space heater into the jacuzzi. Instantaneously, the mob of ravers is fried to a crisp with shockingly hilarious results. That's one way to kill a party. Well, swing on this. You know, I love how this list combines deaths that are intentionally funny with deaths that are just so bad or cheesy or over the top that they're funny. Like, that shark changing size constantly? Amazing. Alright, well what rings in triumphantly at number one on this supersized list? Hold your breath until after these honorable mentions and we shall see. Gonna stop. Come on. Oh. 
Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, the skater. Hard ticket to Hawaii. Man, he must be smoking some heavy doobies. You've got a tropical island setting, agents out to stop a drug lord, a snake that's been rendered even more dangerous thanks to some cancer rats for some reason, and enough cringeworthy one-liners and bombastic action to earn cult classic status. If brains were virtues, you'd have a clean cage. Well, maybe not classic, but anyway. During the DEA agent's trek, they're confronted by a skateboard riding henchman who keeps things on the down low by hiding his gun behind his favorite blow-up doll, as one does. After non-fatally shooting one of the agents, in the heart, the skater is shown no mercy. Oh, and don't think his inflatable date makes it out unscathed either. Boom goes the dynamite. Or as the case may be, the bazooka. Ah! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.